This video will give a few more definitions related to sequences. A sequence is bounded above if all of its terms are less than some number. In other words, if there's a number capital M such that a sub n is less than or equal to m for all n. A sequence is bounded below if all of the terms are greater than some number. In other words, there's a number lowercase m such that a sub n is bigger than or equal to lowercase m for all n. A sequence is bounded if it's both bounded above and bounded below. In other words, all the terms are trapped in between an upper and lower bound. The first sequence here is bounded below by 7, since all terms are bigger than or equal to 7. Of course, it's also bounded below by 6 or negative 5. There's infinitely many lower bounds we can use to show that it's bounded below. But this sequence is not bounded above, since the terms get arbitrarily large. So the sequence is not bounded. The second sequence is bounded above by 3 and bounded below by 0. So it is a bounded sequence. Please pause the video and try to decide if the next two sequences are bounded. Sequence C is bounded below by 15 halves, but it's not bounded above. We can get from each term to the next by multiplying by 5 halves. 5 halves is bigger than 2, so the terms more than double from one term to the next, and so they increase without bound. Sequence D is bounded above and below. In fact, if we graph n on the x-axis and a sub n on the y-axis, then our terms bounce around between positive and negative values. But since we're always multiplying by negative two-thirds to get from one term to the next, the oscillations are dying down in magnitude. And in fact, the terms can never get above three or below negative two. A sequence is called increasing if each term is less than the next term. In other words, a sub n is less than a sub n plus one for all n. A sequence is called decreasing if each term is bigger than the next one. In other words, a sub n is bigger than a sub n plus 1 for all n. A sequence is called monotonic if it's either increasing or decreasing. Please pause the video and try to decide which of the following sequences are monotonic. The first three sequences are monotonic. Sequence A is increasing. Sequence B is decreasing, and sequence C is increasing. Recall that for sequence C, we get from one term to the next by multiplying by 5 halves. So that ensures that each term is bigger than the previous one. Sequences D and E are not monotonic. In sequence D, the terms bounce back and forth between positive and negative numbers, so they can't always be increasing or always decreasing. And the similar thing happens for sequence E. And sequence F is not monotonic because of the first few terms, although it is monotonic from the fifth term onwards. We say that a sequence converges if the limit of its terms exists. In other words, the limit, as n goes to infinity, of a sub n exists as a finite number. Otherwise, we say that the sequence diverges. In other words, a sequence diverges if the limit, as n goes to infinity, of a n is infinity, or negative infinity, or does not exist. Please pause the video and try to decide which of the following sequences converge. Sequences a and c cannot converge because their terms increase without bound. In fact, we say that these sequences diverge to infinity. But sequence b does converge, because the limit of its terms is 0. This video gave some definitions for types of sequences, including bounded sequences, monotonic sequences, and convergent sequences.